hey there everyone it's ravindra back with another video in c sharp tutorial series today we are going to discuss about multi-threading in c sharp so let's get started without any delay it's a technique that allows us to perform multiple operations simultaneously it means your tasks are divided between multiple threads so that those tasks can be performed simultaneously and let's talk about the real life scenario right now I am using this Google browser here and I'm also using this Visual Studio. So it is kind of multitasking or it is also happened with some kind of threads. Some threads are handling this Chrome browser and some threads are handling this Visual Studio. I'm assuming it will be the scenario. I'm not 100% sure of that. I'm just taking an example here. So it is called multi-threading or multitasking, whatever you want to say. It, actually, it is a multitasking which is achieved through multi-threading. We can say that. So let's not go there. Let's move to our own multi-threading and how we can achieve in the C sharp. So let's see. So first of all, let's create methods here public sorry static void print one and here we have four int i equals to one i is less than seven i is less than seven i plus plus okay so what its problem what is its problem for int okay i equals to one fine right here print sorry we don't have print method in c sharp print method works in python console dot right line i just write here method one dash one Let's copy this method also and let's name it to print2. Fine, and just change it to method2. Okay, fine. So if I, first of all, I need to call it here. If I call it here, print1, fine. Print2, that is also fine. If I call this math, these methods and run the program, let's see what will happen. So it is the desired output method one to method one. First of all, all the values from method one will be printed. Then all the values of method two will be printed. If I write here, if I equals to four, then thread dot sleep method will be called and it will now we have to wait for three seconds for three seconds our code will be paused okay so it resides under system dot threading plus so we have to write here system dot threading now let's run this program and let's see what will happen something will happen new or something new will happen 
here it is waiting for three seconds but after that it has resumed and it has started printed for method one so it has printed method one one method one two method one three method one four and when okay we will run it again so first of all it has printed four then it has waited for three seconds then it has continued with the first method which was five and six now it has moved to the method two then all the things from method two has printed but why do we have why do we have to wait for method one to execute method two it is not our fault we want to execute we want to move further in our life why do i have to wait for that method one so i do not want for i do not want to wait for that method one so what i will do right now i will create a threads and those things will be handled by multiple threads first of all i will create a thread t1 equals to new thread okay and here new thread start fine so here as you can see it is asking us the delegates again we are using delegates that's why i have covered delegates in previous two videos okay so check out that video also about delegates anyway so here we will pass the name of method fine so thread t1 is handling the print one method and thread two is handling print two method that is absolutely fine now what we will do t1 will start and t1 t2 will also start now let's run this program and let's see what will happen so here as you can see method one to method one has printed and those threads are printing things in simultaneous manner so it is not waiting for anything for three seconds and let's let's keep it shorter and let's keep it sort shorter also I equals to one to five I equals to three okay so first it has printed method one 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 sorry method one one method once two then it has printed method twos because now it have slept here when i equals to three then it hasn't waited for that method and method two has started printing here then again method one has started printing method two started printing that's how it is happening right now and i know what it is happening here actually i have to remove these methods so let's run it again so right now you can see the difference method one has printed one two has printed two has printed two has printed nothing has waited for anything both threads run simultaneously so that's how the multi-threading works so in next video we will call about we will discuss about asynchronous task so we will see you in next video